Project Artworks is a collective of neurodiverse artists and activists, and we're based in Hastings. We want to see people with complex support needs brought into the heart of cultural and civic life, and so that they can see themselves reflected in the programming and audiences of cultural organisations. The neurodivergent artists within the programme are a very uh, diverse group, some who identify as artists, others who don't. Alongside the creative programme, uh, we run the Support Collective. The Support Collective brings together people who have lived experience of caring for uh, those who have complex support needs. Uh, its aims are to help people navigate the complexity of support systems within social care and to improve those outcomes in social care. Sharif Pasord has been working with Project Artworks for a long time. He is now 27 years old. He is autistic and I first started working with Sharif uh, when he was uh, very young at his primary school when we ran some school projects there. I really got to know him uh, in around 2010 when he was part of a project that we called In Transit which was um, a film project where we paired filmmakers with young people who were in transition between uh, education and adult social care. Autism is um, what's in your body yes. and is, some, is a condition it's a disability and when you have autism it can make you a little bit anxious sometimes. Um, I've got an autism, haven't I? I've got autism too. After we made the In Transit film, things got quite difficult for Sharif and a lot of uh, support systems and placements for him broke down uh, and he ended up spending some time in hospital because of the relationship that we had, which was really great during the making of In Transit, the In Transit film, the family contacted me just prior to Sharif's discharge and uh, asked me whether we could work together again. All of Sharif's work is autobiographical to some extent. All of it is about himself, his place in the world. Sharif is an existentialist in the sense that he is always questioning what his place is, how he's different, how that affects him, what's his role. Sharif had a really uh, prolific kind of output of work over a sort of six or seven year period. And what's on show here at the exhibition is a real cross section of that work. It encompasses lots of the different aspects of his practice. So there's drawings uh, and that's really Sharif's instinctive art making process, one that actually is, is functional for him because it's a way of reflecting and understanding the past and also thinking about the future and always kind of balancing negative things with positive things. So it, it was a process that he sort of underwent and as he made these drawings, he would narrate them, so he'd perform them. So there was a kind of an action that went with them that was kind of uh, cathartic, I think, to some extent. This is one of Sharif's drawings uh, called Nightmares and Dreams. These are all nightmares that he had or things that he thought of as nightmares. And so things that are in here are um, a hospital that he didn't like, um, some some moments of conflict um this was a <laughs> this was a dream about a nightmare i would say about me driving him over the edge of a cliff on a bus and so on the other on the other hand this is um these are really um positive uh, things he dreamt that we went on holiday to we were going on holiday to america together and this was the woman at the uh, baggage area and he, he, she cleared her throat <laughs> and that was uh, exciting for him. This is the whole B City cast ensemble. Sharif is really interested in um, 
the body, medical issues, um, hospitals. And so it's a Holby City is a big part of his life. And unfortunately, it's just ended, I think, after about 30 years. At the time, Sharif was very anxious, and this was a way of um, sort of slowing down and doing something really methodical and meaningful for him, but also sort of a distraction from his anxiety. So the, 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 the painting, which is amazing as a sort of work of art, also had this sort of function, which was about his well-being, and that was the process. My role has always just been to sort of stand back and admire but also just to be there to sort of support Sharif and to um, collaborate in, in small ways, you know. So the film, The Mask, was obviously um, a collaborative process, but one that, that he always led on. And actually, because Sharif has a director and writer credit on the film, we have to measure that in a different way for someone like Sharif. How does Sharif write that film. Well, how he wrote that film was that he performed the entire script in a single monologue in a recording studio. He didn't write it down, but he just, he just said it in one go. He's really honest about the way that he makes work, what he talks about. And I think that, you know, it made me realise sort of how afraid I was in terms of what I make, because we're always kind of considering what someone thinks of the work or how we're going to be judged by it and Sharif is completely fearless in the sense that he just doesn't consider that. He, Sharif operates from a what I need perspective and his work is a way of understanding his life. You know that's what's really exciting about it, that it sort of reflects this truth of his life.